Welcome back people, we got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today and we are in the Canic Creek. Now I decided to come back here because we had to do some Halloween event missions in this place and I thought you know what I'm going to come back here and fish here because it's been a short minute since I've fished in this place. Now if I'm honest out of the whole entire fishing planet of playing it for six and a half years plus this lake, I don't know what it is about it but this is the only lake that I'm not the biggest fan of is Canic Creek. I don't know why, it's just... I can catch fish fast here. It's it's actually a pretty fast pace of catching fish. And there's a lot of different fish you can catch. But I don't know. I can't explain it. But there's something about this lake that I just... This is the, this is the only lake that I just don't really like out of the whole of Fishing Planet. <laughs> but anyway, I decided to come back here. i messing messing around with the uh, River Tex rod. And this I used part of the Halloween event as well. So using this river text rod, don't worry, I will show you the rod setup. I will show you the location and of course the marker and everything that I'm using. Don't worry about that. All of that is to come. But we are using a roach spoon, which that cost me, I think it was three bait coins that cost. Uh, I don't think you can buy that with cash. If you can, then you're lucky. If not, at least three bait coins. Um, yeah, the six ot seems to work very, very well. And here, catching some good old chin hook salmon in Canic Creek. Now, as I said, this is not my favourite place to fish, but um, we haven't got a video of me catching any of these. Other than the Halloween event, we haven't got really many videos of me fishing in Canic Creek. So that's why I decided to come back here. Now, there's lots of other hot spots, but today I was targeting chin hook unique salmon. I did put some bait rods down for a little while. If I'm honest, but um, mm -mm. I don't know why, <laughs> but I just didn't get anything. Literally, not even a bite. I cannot even explain that. I put on different hooks, different baits, and I just had not much luck. Now I know using bait in other locations in this in this place does work quite well, but from this location, me trying to catch these chinooks. I don't know why, but it just didn't work. But anyway, if you are interested in Fishing Planet, that's a good reason to hit that subscribe button. Of course, when those new updates come out, I'll always let you guys know what's going to be in the update. And of course, when a new DLC drops, that's when we get a little bit hectic on this channel. <laughs> As I said, this is uh, six and a half years of me playing, investing my life into this game. And my dad plays it also, and I'm glad that all of my tips and tricks videos over the years have helped out. We've got over 500 plus videos of Just Fishing Planet in our playlist of Just Fishing Planet. So, um, yeah, you could always check that out. If you're stuck in a certain lake, stuck on a certain fish mission or fish monster mission, or you want to see new updates, of course, we'll always live stream face cam and mic those new DLCs that drop showing your new hotspots, how and where to catch new fish, and of course, completing those new missions. This place does look quite beautiful to be honest because i'm on my pc playing this now i play on pc on steam i also play on ps4 ps5 and i play on ios on mobile as well and i'm max level in all of them apart from the mobile i've got a bit of work to do on there still but i keep on coming back to pc because pc is my main account and not just it's my main account but i can also crank up the graphics on pc to max graphics and this game does look really nice when i crank it up so a 60 pound chinook salmon now i think these go up to around about 80 odd pound if i'm honest they do go yeah they do go up quite big in size i noticed that you can hear i was well actually to start off with we was fishing night there now we're here early in the morning we started at 7 a.m because that was the peak time um <clears throat> You can catch these as unique in the daytime, early morning, peak times, afternoon. I felt like that the evening was the best time to catch these. And when I say best time, I probably say that's how I caught them the most quickest, the fastest way, was in the evenings. Just before it gets dark, these Chinook salmon are absolutely everywhere, all around here. <laughs> now I do like the river text rod I also like the new rod that I got part of the Halloween event that that rod looks absolutely cool we again we've made videos and all that stuff so you can check it out um, yeah smack that like button lets us know you're still enjoying fishing planet it makes me always willing to try and put as much content out there as possible the more people that like it knows that I'm it kind of tells me that I know that I'm doing a good job so 
yeah smack that like button leave your comments in the comment section below i always try my best to respond to every comment don't take it personally if i don't respond to you just sometimes it is kind of hard i've got over a thousand videos on youtube so it's kind of hard to try and comment back to every single video but i do always try my best now the only thing when you're catching these that you got to kind of watch out for a little bit is they do kind of bolt off but they also do start running towards you as well now i don't know if you noticed a minute ago but the line went really badly slack and i had my finger on the strike button kept my finger on the strike button and kept speed reeling as fast as i could because that's kind of how you lose these fish when you catch them when you when you hook them up after that there is a possibility you can lose them quite a few times and that's by slack line i did throughout making this video i think i lost about four and they were pretty decent side size fish to be honest they they were yeah i had them on for as long as this if not longer than this and um yeah because some of them swam towards me i did lose a few here and there but they're good fun now of course i know the nile perch catching those at 450 plus pound is great and it is fun but sometimes I'm not really a competitive person, to be honest. I, I, sometimes I like to drop back to lower lakes like this. Or even other lakes, I like to drop back to lower level lakes and kind of give tips and tricks as much as I possibly can. And uh, basically show you my type of style, my way of fishing. Now, the way I've got this rod set up here is set to max drag. If you don't understand max drag, I've made many, many videos before in the past of max drag. But it's basically... We have videos on it explaining it in more depth, but max drag is basically where I push everything to the maximum. And as you can see, the bars are lit there on the right hand side. They're all lit right up into the red, but it never snaps. It never, ever breaks off. And that is, I class that as max drag. I class it as balancing. I, I, I don't know. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but that's just what I call it. Either max drag or I call it balancing. Um... Is basically, yeah, where I'm pushing the rod, the reel, and the line as much as I can. A lot of slack there. Me pushing the rod and line and stuff to the maximum. To the point where it's almost going to break, but it doesn't actually break. And the reason why I do that is it does help to reel these fish in that little bit quicker. And it does put that little bit more tension onto the rod as well. And I prefer to have max drag as well. I don't know, there's just something kind of nice about using it, knowing that when you got a big fish on even this even though it's not even a hundred pound fish it still puts up an insanely great fight now it doesn't matter what rod you have you can always max drag them it's just a matter of learning the balance which as i said we've got plenty of videos on max drag so you can always check them out so we've got one there a little bit bigger just over 68 and a half pound now i think these do got to about 80 odd pounds something like that but um again this one I was kind of lucky to get this one. I thought I'll start early in the morning. And I ended up hooking into this one insanely fast. So it seems like early morning and late evenings. As I said, I think the late evenings, I'm pretty sure I caught more uniques in the evenings compared to the morning time. But um, those sunny mornings, sunny afternoons, cloudy evenings in the evening on a cloudy day. And even on the evening on a sunny day. But... They're not that difficult to catch, if I'm honest. Now, when I was doing this as well, there's different types of method by using lures, which I will end up showing you in the clip after this one. Now, there's different ways. You can keep try and keep it on the surface all the time, so you just keep reeling. You can do twitching. You can do stop and go. You can do lift and drop. There's different ways to use lures. And the way that kind of worked best for me in this place was I put it on real speed too and I just keep my finger on it and that's all I do I just keep my finger on it even if the lure sometimes would come to the top of the surface that's fine I still keep my finger on it real speed too works really well also um, twitching did quite well here as well uh, which is where you keep your finger on the reel and you keep on hitting the strike button continuously that works quite well um stop and go so i had it on real speed too so i keep my finger on real which again i will show you all this in the next clip you can keep your finger on the reel the stop keep your finger on the reel stop and literally when you come off to do the stop and go when you come off of that reel 
you only come off of it for a fraction of a second. So you keep your finger on reel, come off, keep your finger on reel, come off, keep your finger on reel, come off. That seemed to work quite well. We're going to show you that in just a sec. But there's another unique salmon coming in just under £60. So in this clip, I'm going to show you, um, again, another unique, but I'm also going to show you exactly the location of where I spawned at, exactly how to get to this location to walk to here. And of course, I'm going to zoom in and also show you the line that I'm using on this rod setup and what reel this is. I think I've pretty much covered everything, to be honest, about catching these Chinooks. As I said, you can catch them with different types of baits. You can catch them with shrimps. Um, yeah, the different types of spawn eggs, salmon eggs and stuff like that, artificial eggs. But this rich spoon for free bait coins is an absolute belter. <laughs> this this yeah this uh lure also works in all different locations in this lake and i have pulled out here chinook salmon as unique i've also pulled out the uh choco um that as unique uh there's another unique salmon that i pulled out of here as well i can't remember what it was but that's all from this low just this one location now you've got the dolly varden and some of the other ones and also pink salmon i had here as unique so there's quite a few different uniques here that you can end up running into, which is quite nice. But also, using this lure in different locations on this map does work very well in Cannock Creek. So I definitely recommend for you guys to, to buy it. Now, I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way. I always give my personal opinion on just what I think. Does my opinion mean anything? Maybe to some people, maybe to some people, no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i'm here making these videos to try and make your your life that little bit easier i like to make videos on catching certain fish doesn't matter about the size to be honest as i said i'm not really competitive if i catch a massive fish of course i will show that if i'm showing a hot spot of course i will show that but i always try my best to put out as many videos as i can normally i put out at least one video every day on the rare occasion i might miss the odd one video here and there and that's because of editing or because of other things going on in real life but i always try my best to put out at least one video recently over the last couple of months i've been so busy on the youtube grind i can't even tell you we, we sometimes obviously fishing planet is the main game i play but sometimes we show new games old games lots of pre-ordered games as well again that's a good reason to hit that sub <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, we do show lots of other different things other than just Fishing Planet, but this is my main game. By the time it comes to February in 2023, which we're not too far away from, we're getting there. <clears throat> that would have been seven years of me playing this game. I did play it when it first came out. I was terrible at it, and that's because I didn't understand the game mechanics. I tried playing it as a fisherman. Didn't work. My dad was exactly the same. He used to play it like a fisherman. It does not work. Although this game is based on realism and trying to be as realistic as possible, it is a game and you do have to play it as a gamer. If you fish the same location as me, use the same lure, the same rod setup as me, this will work perfectly fine. Now you don't necessarily have to have exactly the same rod setup as me, but this rod setup does work insanely well. So that's why I went with it. Look how beautiful the graphics is when it changed from there from from the afternoon to the late evening 60 pound unique look at that that looks so good so i'm casting out there in between those two trees there now i'm going to do a little cast now i'd normally max cast as far as i can but i'm going to do that just so that way i can reel in and i can also zoom in so there you go it's kind of hard but at the tip of my rod there that little green <laughs> green and white marker that's where I've been cast into, which is normally around about 200-ish foot. So try and get the same rod. If not, try and cast at least 200 foot. So that's a 46-pound rod set up. We've got the roach spoon on there. Um, the rod itself is 46-pound. And then the line, we've got 53-pound. And then we've got the Impress 5000 reel. Now I'm going to spawn at a different location real quick. And then we're going to spawn back to the original location to where I was. So... That way you guys can see how I'm getting to this location. So down there where it's highlighted orange, as you can see there, 
that's where we spawn in you click go fishing and obviously always make sure that you have a license because otherwise you will get fined a lot of money so I'm going to jump to the next day just so you can kind of see where we are when you can see everything so we come over this way a little bit to the left this is impossible for you not to find this place just right there we're going to walk to that location and that's where we're going to be fishing from as I said if you haven't got the same rod set up Hopefully you can cast at least around 200-ish foot because these salmon are a little bit way out there. You can get a few odd salmon in closer, but there definitely is a lot more out there. Now you can stand over on those other little bits of islands, but this is where I stand right here, casting there and max cast. That time wasn't quite max cast, but I try and get max cast most times or close to it. And then, as you can see there, at the tip of the rod, that's where it is so I'm gonna quickly show you the uh, the reel now this is me showing you stop and go so I keep my finger on the reel 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 stop reel 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 stop reel 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 stop that's exactly the way I do it does sound a little bit crazy but that's how you get the stop and go as the three dots and then I just do real speed two as well and even if it comes to the top of the surface I still keep reeling and we get fish that way as well hope you guys did enjoy this one and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We catch you people again soon with some more fun.